Okay, what's up guys? This is Mark from DSG. Um, I posted some videos in the past kind of explaining how to find items to sell and that type of thing. Um, we'll continue posting videos to help you drop ship on eBay. But this is just like a brief introduction to DSG and what it is, right? So, DSG is a piece of software that we created to help us with our dropship and when I say we myself and my friend Quasi who's a, 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 a developer um, I drop shipped for about two years I got up to about 150 under 70 thousand dollars a month in sales which equates about 15 thousand dollars a month profit and there were a few things that were not hindering us but a few things that caused a lot of a lot more work than it needed to be right um, one is managing the different statuses of orders, whether it's a new order, whether it got ordered, the tracking number uploaded, or it's, or it's in the process of being returned. Another thing is the the the, the, the price change in out of stock. So any of you who drop ship know that price changes all the time from our suppliers, whether it be Walmart, Amazon, Kmart, Sears, and so on. And we need to reflect that on our side, right? So I need to solve that problem. When it goes out of stock, same thing. I can't be selling something that's out of stock on the website, right? And another issue is finding things to sell. Now, this is pretty much the biggest issue out there. And we've pretty much solved it. Um, again, we can't, we've solved it for a limited amount of people. And you'll see... In the video, basically, Tiashini gives you suggestive, suggested items to sell with the price, description, everything already set. You can edit it after or whatever, but it gives you all of that stuff. And um, it only gives one listing per account. So this is why I said this isn't a solution for everyone. This has to be a limited number of people because... No matter what people tell you, it's impossible to have an unlimited amount of drop shippers. If we have to provide listings to each one of our partners of things that will sell, we cannot provide the same listing to everyone. I mean, it's just obvious, right? We cannot have like a million drop shippers making $5,000 a month. So what? That means $5 billion in profits are coming out of drop shipping. I mean, uh, when well, it's possible, not I mean, it's, it's, it's up in the air, but I, I just don't think that's possible monthly right um so yeah so this is just an introduction of diashini this is what you would see when you log in home you see all the tabs home add gift cards view gift cards view listings look up walmart blah, blah, blah. so right now um well let me go through so once you log in you'll see that you'll see that your account is already logged in we'll go through that at some other time and one of the biggest things that we have available is the suggested items. What this is, is actual listings that um, has been researched. The price has been chosen um, using the same method that I outlined, using therapy to find good things to sell. And everything is there just for you to click once and it's upload, uploaded to your eBay, the eBay store, right? Um, it's automated. We don't give a suggestion to more than one person right now. I guess in the future we may give it to two people, but right now each suggestion is given to one people, one person, and you just click one for it to be uploaded. Um, so as you see, Brandon has logged in and he has three suggestions. This desk, this umbrella um, stand or whatever you want to call it, and this other desk, right? We guarantee our users that in the first five days, they'll get 30 listings, and every other day, they're guaranteed a minimum of two listings a day. After a month, you're looking at what? 90, so that's two by 30, 60 plus 30, 90 listings, right? With those 90 listings, you should be making a steady two, three, four thousand dollars a month, just from my experience, and we've seen it happening with some of our users. Um, that's for the first month. After that, the software is going to manage 
your price changes, out of stocks. All you have to worry about is your customer service, placing the orders, and then comparing your prices with competitors and then editing your prices. But that is your thing. I mean, we, we'll automate that in the future as well, but that is something you as a user will have to do. But you don't have to worry about price changes and other stuff. Right now, all our suggestions come from Walmart, our price change monitor and out of stock monitor comes from Walmart. Um, you do, once a price changes on Walmart, let's say you're selling something for a hundred bucks and you buy it from Walmart for same nine dollars. If it goes up by ten dollars, your listing will automatically go up by ten dollars because of the software. If it goes down by ten dollars, it'll go down by ten dollars. If it goes out of stock, yours on eBay will go out of stock. All of, that, all of that is automated. You don't have to touch it. Right now, we only have Walmart. We'll be introducing Amazon in about seven days. We'll be introducing Kmart and Sears about two weeks after Amazon and so on. We'll be adding Wayfair, um, Academy, and a couple of uh, main different um, suppliers. So let me show you what this is. So this, when you log in, you get these suggestions, right? All you do is click add to my eBay account. So let's see what happens. My internet is kind of slow, so let's hope. Okay, so it says item listed, listed successfully, right? If you click, let's open this in a new window so you can see. The item is listed. The same user we talked about, image, a price, um, the description, all that good stuff, right? Let's go back to the form. Do the second suggestion. This is just to see, just to confirm that it's working. Same thing. Two images, price, description, and so on. So again, suggestion, add to my eBay account. Again, this is going to be a summary. I mean, we'll, we'll have videos and training and all that kind of stuff, but this is just to give you a gist of what's going on and what DSGE has to offer. Again, three images. It's uploaded, description, disclaimer, all that good stuff, right? So that's your dashboard. We, I personally use a lot of gift cards to order, order my, my products to the customers. So this is available. It's not necessary, but it's available. So once you buy the gift card, you can add a number pin. If you got a discount, the balance, and last use, right? Once you save that, if we come to view gift cards, you're going to see all the gift card numbers, all the pins, all the balances, the last date used, and locked by is basically, what happens is, with these gift cards, right, let's say you buy a $100 gift card and you spend 90 bucks and there are $10 left. You don't want to use that gift card again until the item is shipped, because we've had experience where, where Walmart would cancel the order. All of that will come in the training, but basically that is why we... We save the last time it was used and it's locked. Right? Um, view listings. View listings are all the listings you have in your account. So there are two pages, right? What this allows you to do is change the price and the quantity from from DSGM. So the price changes and the out of stock is managed from the software. So you want to make those changes from the software, right? Look up from look up Walmart item. That is something that um, we'll go through in, in some sort of training. What that does is it gives you the ability to track the different the price change of different colors or different sizes in Walmart. Get new orders. Let me hopefully this hopefully has new orders. What get new orders does it pulls all your new sales from your eBay account into the software. Um, Okay, so he has two new orders, right? 
um, and I'll show you after you get the orders what happens. So let's skip get get messaging because we still manage our messages from the, directly from the year. So if you go to the order section, remember we just got two new orders, right? Um, the, the software orders also manages orders. So we save our orders as new orders or product order we can track in, track in uploaded, order completed, order canceled, need to reorder. This is just like a reminding case you realize the orders are canceled and you have other workers so when they log in they can check that out. Out of stock, this is sometimes if you go to order and order something for a customer and it's out of stock, you don't want to save it as this so you can come back in the future and order it. Order canceled, we save these orders as canceled if a customer cancels it and we never want to order it again. Bad address, so a lot of times we'll go to order from Walmart or Kmart or whatever and the, the address is wrong. So this is just to save the order as that stays. And we'll go into it more in training, but this is just a summary. Return in progress, return replacement in progress, right? Okay. So if we go to new order and search, we have a decent amount of new orders, right? Some of these are just old orders that were never ordered. But let me go to the new one, right? So this first one, the set of eight classic bins. What would happen is we would come to Gearshin, pull the new orders, and when we're placing the orders, we wouldn't go to eBay to place the orders. We can, but all the information is pulled here, and I'll explain why. So we hit edit. In this comment section, if the person sent a message with the order, it'll automatically show up there. So you'll know if they ask to ship it to a new address and that type of stuff. All the information is there, eBay ID, name, address, phone number, all that good stuff, right? So we use that to place the order. Once the order is placed, what we would do, this is how much money we receive from the customer for this, for this item. We'll put how much money we paid. The software will automatically calculate the profit. And you'll see that in a second to see how you calculate the profit. We put, we, me personally, I put in the gift card number that I use. So it'll automatically deduct how much money was spent on this item. So in the system, it manages all the gift cards as well. The order number, order email. You want to have the order, e store the order email and the order number. So if you want to go back to Walmart or Kmart or whatever in the future, you can check it up whether it's a return, whether you want to see if the tracking number was sent and that type of stuff. And then order status. So once you order it, you want to change it from new order to product order and we can track it number. We don't really, I personally don't save shipper, but that's there. And tracking number is there for the future, right? Then you hit save. I'm not going to save it now, but this is just to show you um, how we properly keep a decent record of the status of each order, right? So if we go back to orders and we choose, this is if you have multiple accounts, we choose product order with a tracking number. This would be an order that we had before, right? So this is a headboard um, that we ordered from Walmart. We actually lost money on this. Um, reason, so it could be a state we didn't charge taxes. Um, I know that item is pretty competitive. Um, it could be anything, but basically the, the profit was already calculated. <coughs> the email is there. In the view, um, the um, let's open this order. The gift card, all that good stuff is there. What we'll do is we'll use the email and the order number. Where, right, the order number to go back to Walmart and check the status of it. So let's just do that real quick so you can kind of get an idea. Yes, you need not, it doesn't just give you things to sell. Um, it even keeps track of the orders that you don't get suggested from here. It keeps track of the profits and all that stuff. So let's track order on Walmart. Just so you can get an idea. See, remember, this is saved. So you want to put the email. And the 
last six of this. What a number. Let's say a customer emails and asks about the order and that type of stuff. You have all the information at your fingertips. You see, so you can see that this was is processing and there's an estimated arrival date. If the customer um, asks questions, you can come in, you could check it and respond right away. So that's pretty much why we do the whole tracking of every order, right? Um, again, I want to make this as quickly as possible. Tracking and tracking update. I, we could do training on that. There'll be a training video. It's just a summary on, on the capabilities of PSU. And then profits, right? Um, I, this is a new account, so the profits would need that. Thing. But I'll just show you exactly what it does. So you put, let's say you want to check the profits. Um, um, the first of the employee, right? Until today, I think today is 27. And you hit search. So it shows you the period. Um, all this stuff is just items that were not, how much was paid was not saved. So that's why the profit is zero. That would be something that would be something that you will have to keep proper track of but any item that you have the money received and the money spent on the item the, the profit will be here so as you see there's a 15 dollar profit on this gun case four dollars 95 cents six cents is a loss um, profit 11 bucks and a loss right of a dollar 60. this is again this is a, a new account so we, ha we have we'll have pictures of images of the profits of some of the accounts there but this is just a dummy account that we're using to show you so you see that it calculates the profits it shows you make 28 dollars the month of april um and that's about it i mean the, the software is pretty powerful this is just kind of a summary of what's going on um what's available um again it keeps so just to go through the features right it gives you suggestions every day and it uploads to the eBay account in one click. It tracks the price changes and out of stocks right now of only Walmart, but again, we'll be adding all the suppliers, um, all the main suppliers Amazon, Kmart, Sears, Wayfair, Academy, and all that good stuff, right? Um, it keeps track of your gift cards if you use gift cards, it keeps, keeps track of all your orders whether it's been returned, it's delivered, it's in tracking. Another feature that should be added in about three or four days is that the software, once you give access to the email, again, that will, we'll go through all of that, the software will automatically check the email for the tracking number and upload it. Um, once that is done, we'll do a video on it and how it works. Um, we're testing it now. It works, but we're testing it to make sure everything is fine. So what, that's just one thing you would not have to do. Right now, you have to check the email and look out for any tracking number comes and upload it, upload it to eBay, and D, well, upload it to DSU, which will push it through to eBay. Um, so the customer will know when it's been delivered. But soon you would not have to do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm, let me not push this any longer. It's about 19 minutes now. So that's just the basics of what you can get out of DSU. We give you the, the things to sell, we track the price change, we track out of stock. Um, we've had a couple users that have joined the test group and we proved the success of the software where they, they went through training of some of the other um, companies out there that give you education to teach you how to dropship and were not, not successful. I personally think that dropshipping has become so competitive and there's so many people doing it that you need a competitive edge and the competitive edge is software so i feel like a lot of these companies that are offering all this training is great it's perfect that's how i learned but they're a little behind on the power of software and what we're doing i mean we have a full-time development team this is not something that we outsource to another company or india or whatever we have a development team 
that is doing this on a daily basis when there's an error you send us a message and it's fixed right so this isn't something that we ordered and bought and we have dev developers in-house working five six days a week eight to twelve hours a day so we we continuously adding and growing and, and developing different features and so on i hope this video will just give you a quick breakdown and a quick understanding of what yeshivi is what it could offer and where we're going with it and if you have questions um send me an email concerns comment on the video like dislike subscribe to the page but this is basically the future of drop shipping um this is a game changer there's nothing like this out there the main thing you have to realize is that most of the companies selling selling education sells to everyone right and the reason for that is, is basically a competition. You learn whoever the best wins, whoever is losing, right? We are not selling to everyone. We cannot because we are providing the listings. We are providing suggestions based on uh, the software, based on a formula, based on some algorithms, right? So we we'll, we guessing we, we could only limit this to about 100, 200 people max. We cannot go any bigger. Um, because of the nature of things. So what we're doing is a lot, a, a lot different than anyone else out there. Uh, most people want to sell unlimited, want to make as much money as possible, which is great. We just want all our users to be successful, period, um, 100%. Um, and that's it. Um, let me stop talking because I hate to waste time. Um, if, again, questions, comments, boom, let me know. Let's get it going. Let's make money. It's like... 3 a.m. here, 3.37, my clock says 4.37, but this is wrong, it's 3.37 a.m., and I have some other things to do, some, we have some coding to do, so let me get out of here, hopefully you enjoyed the video, take care, have a good day, bye-bye.